Our team coverage of Winter Storm Abel continues now with a look at travelers at Bradley International Airport, where many are still trying to make it home yesterday, trying to get home from the holiday weekend. Oh, geez. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Patricia Del Rio joins us live now in Windsor Locks. How are the boards looking, Patricia? Actually, they've been looking pretty good. There are not too many cancellations or delays as of right now, but the airport is cautioning that that could very much change as weather worsens as we get later in the day. I'm going to step out of frame and just give you a sense of what we're seeing here this morning. This is the line at uh, the security checkpoint, and they are telling me that this is actually pretty average looking for a morning hour at this time. So that is good news. A lot of the travelers telling us that they really, frankly, had more more trouble getting to the airport in terms of their particular roads being cleared near their houses or their or the highways getting here but many of them also smart and uh, allowing plenty of extra time to get to the airport because they saw a lot of troubles that people had yesterday yesterday was by the way uh, the busiest travel day in history yesterday, more than uh, just millions of people traveling and, of course, all those cancellations and delays. So if you are heading to the airport, you are going to want to check with your carrier. And certainly if you're going to be traveling later on in this afternoon and evening, you will very much want to check in, in with regard to what the weather is doing. We're live at Bradley International Airport. I'm Patricia Del Rio, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.